Hello everybody, my name is Judah and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm making the chest plate and the back plate of my armor. And what I have is this line measured out in the top and bottom of the very bottom of my stomach. I was going to do the bottom of my rib cage because I couldn't tell if you had much mobility if it went all the way down. But I think it'll be fine. So I... So these are the top and bottom, and then I cut out these. I'm gonna cut out these for the arms. My uncle is, like, sells a propane company, and he has a bunch of metal he sells in the trash. So, he let me go get stuff from it, so I got this. And what it is, is I can dish out metal, so that it's like where you round metal and make it all round and cool. And Makes it a lot stronger, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna dish this out to be round and then kind of round in the top stuff. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And after I cut all this stuff out. In my last video, I didn't really talk. In the last three videos, I haven't really talked because, eh. But um, my angle brunt grinder croaked, so. We got this one that Dad got for me, since everybody's giving you two money, and he bought it for me, so, yeah, it's really fast, and, yeah, so I'm gonna, eh. Yeah, now I get to dish it all out. Ooh, that gets really tiring. Well, that's the basics of dishing. As you can see, it's getting rounded because I've done the outer edge, still out all the middle. But holy cow, that's tiring as heck. And this thing on the vise, I was it would work fine on the vise because it's clamped down, but it's at a really weird angle, so it makes me go a lot tired really fast. But this is better, but then it moves around. So yeah, I gotta sort out a situation. Thing with Jake for that. Hmm. 
I'm wearing earmuffs because this is gonna make me go deaf. <clears throat> Like six hours of work, I finally got it to be halfway done. See, yeah. So what I gotta do is cut out this right here because this is too little, too big. But tell the out anyways. And then there's gonna be more dishing on the top. I cut like the bottom one and everything, but that is, eh. So yeah, thank you. Cut this out. And yeah. Remember how? If you can remember how bright it was. It's bright, and now this sign's completely gone, basically. I've been hammering this thing for six hours, and my hands are noodles, and bleh, bleh, this breast and that bruise. But anyways, it's that round. It's got the neck on it. I kind of made it go out a little bit where the neck is, so it comes up a little bit. These are all nice but it turns out that I need to make these go down these holes for my arms go down all the way to like right here come up like that and then I'm gonna start getting rid of some of these bumps and then these corners need rounded knees all the corners need rounded so I'm gonna get rid of some of these bumps and I'll round the corners so I got this um tube, hollow steel tube that I'm going to do this with so you ran it in some places a little more and then I'll get rid of the bumps. My veins are breaking. Oh man, jeez. Okay, anyway. So I got this so it comes out like this. So it goes down and comes out a little bit. So when it's on, 
doesn't hurt when I bend down as much like that. Whew! This is really tiring. Ugh. Whew! Okay, so it's the next day because eh, and it was so dark and I would be too loud to mess around, but I was so sore last night and my hands were all broken basically and yeah I was cramping everywhere but oh dang okay so I got these I when I was um making it go at an angle I actually folded it all the way over like that so it's not sharp at all and I did the same on the other side so I decided I'm gonna do that same thing on the bottom right here so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm wearing headphones because it would make me go deaf a long time ago if I did.
Now you can see it's all rounded off, so it's not sharp at all anymore. It should make the metal look a lot thicker. But, holy cow. Uh, that's that. So, now to the next part. Okay, so, um, what I've done is, if this were, well, this is a real chest plate, but on real chest plates, they have, if an arrow were to hit, here, let me get it. Okay, so pretend this stick is an arrow. If a stick were to hit, it would go like that and hit into the neck. So sometimes they have like little V's right there. But what I did is I made the neck right where the neck is. It comes out and curves. It doesn't bend all the way down, but it kind of curves like that a little bit. So if this were an arrow, it would go like this. It would ricochet and go like that. And it would guide across here and go off that way, or like that way, or maybe you would go somehow go like that, I don't know, but, yeah, I might still put some stuff, well, I'm still gonna put some stuff on here, make it look a lot better, but, and I decided not to get rid of the bumps, it's gonna be way too hard and way too long, and I don't really even know how to do it that much, but, yeah, so, that's gonna be the end of the video, this is actually two days long, so this feels weird, but, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching and all. Put this on so I can show you what it looks like. It looks like that. Still gonna be another one on the back that connects to this one. It's gonna be belt gear here, 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 here. Belt both of them together.